With no new information from Walmart, the future of the Larson Green site in downtown Green Bay is looking bleak. Now the possibility of a foreclosure is very real. NBC 26's Deandra Corinthios is live in the Green Bay newsroom with the story. Deandra? Megan, it's very concerning the impact this would have on the Broadway district. On Broadway officials say if the property is foreclosed, the city would acquire it, but its value would go down. The for sale sign still stands at the Larson Green property as on Broadway leaders sit in a stressful state of limbo wondering if not Walmart then who else? We fully expect Walmart to terminate their, their agreement. No news from Walmart on whether they'll make a new offer which the retail giant can do through August 25th and no news from the city to buy it outright which on Broadway welcomes as an option. They say other buyers are curious, but maintain the property has to sell for a fair value. They want a fire sale, and we're not going to give them a fire sale. We know what the property is worth. Uh, we're going to stick to that. If the property is foreclosed, its value and the value of nearby businesses and homes would go down. Marty Leonard owns the bar across the street from the site, and he's hoping someone buys it very soon. Let's get some more people that want to do business down here. They want to come down here and make it worth everybody's while. For now, the property costs are piling up for on Broadway. We've carried the torch, we've paid the taxes, we've kept the maintenance up on the site. And time is running out. Now, a Green Bay alderman did call for the city to buy the land at a fair price to avoid it going into foreclosure, but on Broadway has yet to hear from city staff on that. We did reach out to Walmart, and they say right now they continue to evaluate their next steps. Live in the Green Bay newsroom, Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26.